Hey everyone, welcome back. This is going to be another rant video. Um, very special one though. If you recall, back in 2011, I believe, sometime around then actually, I made a video based on my thoughts on what Inf Infamous 2 would be like before it came out, obviously. So, I'm going to do the same thing now because last December 7th, I believe it was, it was an Infamous Second Son was announced. That's right, another Infamous game made by Sucker Punch Productions. I assume it's going to be Infamous 3, whatever, but... Anyways, though, this is my thoughts on what I feel it should be like. You know, different aspects that should be in the game, okay? I'm mostly going to be focusing on power-ups here, because, you know, plot devices could go a any which way. And I th think it'll be really interesting to see how they take the beginning of the game. Because in the good ending, Cole's dead. And in the evil ending, humanity's dead. But anyways, though. Like, I do plan on... Well, I had planned on writing a fanfiction about it. Anyways, if this really is the third game of the series, though, that's kind of shot. But... Basically, I would have started out with Zeke and then reveal that Cole's alive and went on, blah, blah, blah. But... I'm mainly going to be focusing on power-ups here, because really the core of the gameplay in the Infamous games is the different types of power-ups you can get. Mainly electrical power-ups, although in Infamous 2 there was fire for evil or ice for good. So, yeah. Anyways, though, um, one thing I think that would be really cool if they added is t t two amps for coal. Alright. Now, I think it'd be really cool to use two amps for melee combat for Cole. Alright. And have provide for some even cooler finishers than you than, than, was, than was present even in the first, or even in the second Infamous game. Alright. There's also several uh, different power-ups that I've came up with. One that I remember off the top of my head for, for Ionic powers. You know, like in Infamous 2 you had the Ionic Storm and Ionic Freeze, Ionic Drain, and the Ionic Vortex. Alright, in this game, in this game I haven't really, or in, uh, in terms of what I've come up with, I haven't been able to figure out a name for it, but it's basically where Cole would put out his arms like this and bursts of electricity would come out, large burst of it, that he can maybe rotate and whatnot. Um, uh, you see Kessler use it in the final boss fight in, in, in Infamous 1. I think it'd be really cool for Cole to have that. I also think he should have a teleport technique kind of similar to the fire... Kind of similar to what Cole and Nyx can do in Infamous 2. Um, to help him get around quicker. Alright, I think that would be really cool. Um, I also think that he should be able to actually steal cars and drive them around. Now, I know that in Infamous 1 he said he can't get in a car without exploding it, but... Or without it exploding when he sits in it, but I think it'd be really cool if he could eventually in the game control his powers enough to where he could actually steal cars for evil karma, obviously, and drive them around. You know, kind of like Grand Theft Auto esque, and maybe they could even license some music, to, some good music to play in the background as well while, while he's driving the cars around. I think that'd be really, really awesome. That's probably my favorite recommendation right there. Alright, and also from Infamous 2, to, to the Tesla missiles, which you have to use to power on the city, I think that should be an attack in and of itself. Alright, maybe like another ionic power or something, and when you use it, it'll actually smash through buildings and, and whatnot, so, so it won't, um, so by crashing into stuff, it won't disappear. The only stipulation is to make it a little bit challenging is that you do have to constant, constantly kill people in order to power it on, so obviously it would be... More, more along the lines of an evil uh, pa pa um, ability right there. It, it, it could be enemies or just random citizens, you know, whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. 
I think that'd be really cool. Alright, maybe like an ionic power where you... Or not an ionic power, maybe like an ability where you get a huge jump way up into the air. And maybe like an ability where you can... Maybe like an extension to the rail grind thing where you get to do that on the street to make getting around much quicker. You know, and if you're if you're good with time jumps, you can actually jump up over people and cars and other obstacles and whatnot that that would end up stopping you. You know, and maybe like if you're really high up in the air, you can do an ionic power where you take both of your amps and you swing them around and electrical strikes, thousands of electrical strikes ends up coming out of them. All right, you know, I have a lot of ideas here. All right, I also think that they should bring sewer missions back. I love the sewer missions from Infamous 1. That was basically the platforming segments of the games, and, you know, I love me some platformers. Uh, Infamous 2 didn't really have a whole lot of platforming segments. I don't know if it had really had any, but Infamous 1, the platforming segments were definitely the sewer missions, so I definitely think that they should bring the sewer missions back and, you know, bring bring them back, because I thought they were really fun. So some, of them, some of my most favorite parts of the game. Alright. Alright, like... I also think that they should bring a lot of new interesting conduits as bosses. Like, one of mine... One of mine that I came up with was, was like a character who can turn into a giant wolf. I know it's not too original, but still. He turns into a giant wolf and his minions, which he spits out of his mouth, he basically coughs them up, spits them out of his mouth, are miniature wolves, which are basically regular sized wolves. <coughs> and another one's one that turns into a giant stone creature and he's able to summon all sorts of different stone creatures in all sorts of different shapes, sizes, and forms and whatnot. Another one's one, a guy who uh, gets, when he activates his conduit powers, gets really muscular. And he uh, gets spikes all over his body. Right, and he controls static electricity with that. I haven't decided a minion for him though, but so yeah, that's some ideas I've been throwing on. I, another idea that I've had is that maybe Cole's not the only playable character. Maybe you play as Zeke once in a while, you're shooting his gun. Maybe they could add some really cool third, actual third-person shooting elements to it right there. Or maybe you can play as Nyx and Quo. Or maybe you can play as some new characters with some interesting powers. Rather than just playing as Cole, I mean it's fun, but it gets old after a while. I'm not saying they have to add. Tons of playable characters into the game, but you know a few more I don't think would hurt the quality of the game at all I mean they, they always complain Sly Cooper, you know Sly 3 because there's way too many playable characters And it does, takes away from Sly's gameplay I never really had a problem with that because the point is to have fun playing the game And if the new characters they get to play as are fun to play as Why are you bitching? You know what I mean? As long as it's fun, who gives a fuck? And that's basically my thought here. I think there should be more playable characters than just Cole. You know, and if you get, when you get to play as Nyx, she could have, like, a whip or something to help her control her uh, fire powers more, you know? <coughs> <coughs> so, yeah, see, I have a lot of ideas here for a new infamous game. Yeah, I don't really know if there's anything else here. Um, one of the most interesting parts, though, is the inter is the intricate boss battles. The you know the epic boss battles, like in Infamous Two, when you got to fight Behemoth, who was really Bertrand. That was an epic boss battle. After a while, it got pretty easy, but still, the first time it was pretty difficult, and that was an epic fucking boss fight. They should really have a lot more epic boss fights like that in this game. All right, let me check the time here really quickly. Uh, okay, just just about the 10 minutes, so I still got some time left. All right, like, in Infamous 1, you only had three boss fights. There were three actual boss fights. You had Sasha, 
All right, you had um, Alden and you had Kessler at the end, and that's it. And Kessler's the only one with it who had an actual health bar, and all three of them were fun, especially you know, and challenging, but. Still, only three boss fights. That was kind of disappointing, especially since Infamous uh, 1 was a pretty large game. Really, especially to... Well, if you just did the story, you could probably beat it pretty quickly. But, you know, if you were going for everything, it's a pretty large game. Infamous 2 had uh, Bertrand, which you had to fight two times, I believe. All right. Uh, who else? Yeah, there was also the Beast... If you went to the eat good ending, but you had to fight the beast and you had to fight uh, uh, Quo. If you went to the evil ending, you had to fight Nyx. She, Nyx was actually the final boss uh, in the uh, evil ending. Alright, I can't really think of any others. So yeah, it had five. I think there should be way more than that, though. You know... It's like a shit ton of epic boss battles. Of course, you know, I want the karma thing to return because I've had... Which I'm sure it will because, you know, I've mentioned it already in this video. You'll have, and have three different types of side missions. Good side missions, evil side missions, and neutral side missions like there always have been. Alright, and just, you know, random side missions that you come across as well. Um... But also, I think that the Blast Shard should return, too. You know, because obviously they've been a staple with the Infamous games. You can't have an Infamous game without Blast Shards, you know. So yeah, I definitely think that they should return, too. And... Yeah, I really don't, don't think there's anything else I have to say about this, though. You know what? Instead of... Two amps? What about three amps? Then you can get some really epic finishers in there. <laughs> you know, when he when he's using all three of them, he'll hold two of them like this and one of them in his mouth, you know? Handle of it in his mouth. Oh yeah, that would be fucking awesome. <coughs> <coughs> but anyways though, I think that's all I have to say. If I can think of enough other things, then I will definitely make a part two. But for now... I guess that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Because I enjoyed making it. It was, you know, because I'm really excited for Infamous Second Son. And, and I can't wait for more information on the game to be released. Alright. So, yeah. But anyways, though. Hope you enjoyed this. And see you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.